having issues with your kids, your teenagers. Let's talk about it in the area of manifesting. You are the parent, so you have the power. Take your power back. I can only speak according to my experience, but at the same time, manifestation works in any area. I just posted a video about how to speak properly over your children. Let's take this example. I have a daughter. When she was in her teenage years, she's 21, she would have certain boyfriends, right? I manifested them boys out of her life. If they were not good for her, why are you fighting with the child? I used to tell my daughter all the time, I always win. I will always win. We're not about to fight and struggle. There's not going to be a power struggle here. I'm the parent. So why are we getting into it with our teenage kids and our daughters and over boys? We're just using that example, right? I would manifest those boys out of her life. Oh, she's done with him. If somebody asks me, is she still? Oh, no, she's done with him. I don't care if they just left to go get something to eat together. Oh, she's done with him. Oh, that's over. Oh, he's out of her life. Manifest them out of their life. If it's a behavior issue, learn how to speak over your child. I have my 31 day intention cards. This one is my abundance one, but I also have one for children. It's called Thriving Children. We speak all the negative things. We speak what we see. We speak and repeat what the teachers say, but we have the power. We are the parent, especially if they're teenagers and they're underage. But even as adults, you can speak into their life. You can help shift and shape and mold their destiny according to their highest good. I have an autistic son, he's 21. But when he was three, four, he was a monster <laughs> because you know we didn't know. They just thought, oh, take him to the prayer line. No, I took him to a, a psychiatrist, the therapist, all the things, right? And they said, okay, he's autistic. He's ADHD. This is what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to put him on medication. This is just my experience. I said, I'm not going to do that. They said, well, you're going to have to do a lot of work at home, a lot of repeating and a lot of speaking and a lot of repeating and a lot of speaking and redirecting some games, some, some tools and all these things that you're going to have to do. I said, okay, I'll do that. I have to speak anyway. And so instead of yelling at him, stop, sit down, shut up. I'm going to speak life. You are so well behaved. People love to have you around. People love to have you visit. If you, I didn't let a lot of people babysit my kids, but people love to babysit you. When we went to restaurants, people would walk over to our table and say, your kids are so well behaved for their age. You know how that thing goes, right? So I took authority over his life and I said, this is what you're going to be. Yes, the school says this. Yes, your behavior is saying this, but I spoke over his life and he is almost an angel. I think he's an angel. Everybody speaks so highly of my son, my daughter too. I've had to deal with her too. We made a video about some issues, but let me tell you how I fixed it by manifesting and speaking what will be. I have the power because I am the parent. So get the 31 day intention cards. It'll tell you, and it gets specifics. It doesn't just say my child is good. Like I get in there because I've experienced it. And this is why I have the kids that I have today. In my household, my kids learned we don't do power struggle. I will always win. I will look them dead in their eye. I will always win. No matter if they was, eh, 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 eh. I will always win. And I always won because I am the parent with the power. And I knew my powers to manifest that I'm not going to sit here and deal with a child like this. Like I gave life to you. So I'm going to speak life over you. And don't be discouraged about what is happening or how far it's been, how long it's been, how long you've been speaking and yelling and cussing and doing all the things and giving up. Start today. You can start today and watch the other manifestation videos about how to persist. Ignore the circumstances. We don't care what it looks like. We don't care what report. When the teacher sends home a negative report and you're reading it, speak the opposite. My child listened very well today. Go over to your child and you say, thank you for listening so well today in class. Thank you. And they're probably going to look at you like you're crazy, but you keep speaking. I'm, I'm telling you, it works. It works. Everything that the teacher wrote, you go to your child and you look them in their eye and you hug them and you say, thank you so much for keeping your hands to yourself today. Instead of why you stabbed that girl in her hand, you know, that kind of thing. Why did you hit Bobby? All the things that we do. I'm so sick of hearing all these words. If you get one more report, I'm like, nah, nah, nah. That's not going to change anything. But what will change is what you speak, what you say. I talked about it in the other video. We're not calling our friends and family anymore to talk about the reports. And especially as believers, that those of you that are Christians, I don't subscribe to religion, but for those of you who say, whose report will you believe? We shall believe the report of the Lord. Whose report are you going to believe? The teacher's report? Okay, they wrote another one. You have the responsibility to speak the truth. The truth is my child is, I'm not saying you got to go and tell them that I'm saying in your private time, 
Speak to yourself, speak to your child and speak to yourself as a parent. I'll probably create a parent deck. Speak to yourself as a parent, what kind of parent you are because you could be the problem.